Hi y'all, today I am going to update you on my lemongrass and um, I'm also going to show you how I harvest my lemongrass and also going to show you how I process and freeze it for use later. So it might be a longer video, um, so if it's too long, I might cut it up into two uh, different sections, but um, I, I, I'm just gonna uh, see how it goes later but let me show you uh, it, it is October uh, and of September and October so uh, it's getting cold and uh, things are starting to get a little bit um, kind of sad soon uh, my perilla is neat going to be uh, done soon they're kind of bolting right now I need to remove them before the seeds flying all over the place uh, before I go in here I want to warn you this is my new area that I'm building up for next year I'm gonna move the butterfly garden from that side over so uh, these are lemon my lemongrass that I uh, stick them down sometimes in uh, I can't remember it's uh, April or May this year whenever it got to above 50s um, mid 50s or, or low 60s or something like that and the weather is kind of doing a similar thing uh, so over a few months let's say from April to October so that's roughly six months or so. And I have planted a few, like each one of these, I have about three little stalks uh, that I started from rooting. So if you're interested in a uh, video how to start, that is super simple. Uh, I have it in my playlist, my garden playlist, but I just started out with like three of these little stalks and it gave me like the whole bush. This year I got a lot of sunflower kind of shaded out for half the season like a couple of months two three months uh, but they came up pretty um, they came back pretty good so I'm just gonna go in and show you real quick yesterday uh, I was just out here uh, cleaning out and I was like well maybe I need to go ahead and, and clean this out so uh, bait, back, basically this is out of uh, three little stalks and maybe uh, one or two die but three maybe they all made it I don't know but they give me uh, this many little stalks more little stalks uh, big stalks I don't know but maybe uh, let's see one two three so that's probably about ten times more and um, uh, you know, I, I don't really do anything, do much to it, except, you know, it has this nice, very nice, grassy, ornamental looking, like, this is like about five feet tall, uh, four and a half to five feet tall, and um, it's greening up, and I see some of these leaves that start getting a little brown, because the weather is kind of doing its thing, it's a little cold, a little warm, so I don't have time to just do it right before it gets freeze, freezing so I'm go ahead and harvest them early uh, while I have to do so much more uh, around the garden as far as cleaning up so let me go and set my tripod down put on my gloves and I will show you this is super easy oops what is this oh that was a piece of lemongrass leaf just kind of uh, stuck in front of the lens there so these are each individual stock and let's look at the close of the base here they they kind of grow out um, the, the new stock will come out at the base from the one of these bigger stock so there'll be more coming out you know like a uh, what do you call a uh, um, a grass it's a grass family so all I do is no tool or anything just pull it out kind of wiggle it like that and it will just pop right out very crunchy uh, very fat see that about an inch a little over an inch and usually I will throw these leaves away but my neighbor 
um, since I talked to my neighbor and a couple of friends, they've been saying they're going to use, they want some of these leaves to, to uh, put in tea. So I'm going to save the leaves this year and har and uh, harvest and save the leaf for um, the the tea, for tea and ginger uh, in, for, the, for the winter. And I'm going to freeze them. But uh, really easy. Just go in and even just do a quick twist, like three quarter of a way twist. Sometimes you can just kind of like pop it out like this and twist and it'll come right out. Uh, this one is a really fat one. Well, it's a fat one this, and then there's another one come out. It's pretty thick. Um, so that's way two there. But that's it. Quick and simple. Uh, this year I'm going to try some of, the some of the roots came out too. This year I'm going to try to preserve some. Like one bush, I'm going to uh, put in a pot so that next year. I usually grow these from just the regular stock, like about a couple of inches like this. And, um, uh, you know, just this will, that's all I have for the rest of the summer. I get to eat some. I come out and, and cut these to eat throughout the summer. And, um, hard, you know, uh, it still give me a lot but this next year I'm gonna see if it's worth it to just save some and, and repot them or put them in the in the pot um, and um, and give them a quick quick faster head start next year I, I almost think like it's not even gonna be worth it because these things are so easy I just go to the local Asian store and and buy a, a, maybe a bundle for a dollar and go home and just root them maybe from January or February uh, and they'll, they'll, sh they'll grow like a boat loot, a boatload of roots and um, then I would just stick them out here three in a, in a hole like this and um, they give me this whole bush very nice so, so that's it. That's all I have to do. So let me uh, harvest the rest of my lemongrass and then I will show you how much I have and how I uh, clean up and uh, process it and keep it and make it into tea. So this is what is left of the lemongrass bush. Um, some of these are root, which I'm in zone 7B. Uh, we're going to have some freeze and thaw and uh, without one of these stock where the, uh, the, at the base here where the new cane will start showing up, uh, new shoot. I don't have any left around here so I'm not expecting any will grow out of this base because um, it's gonna be pretty cold but I usually don't pull it out because it's gonna take a lot of effort to pull out I usually wait until maybe spring or something give it some time to rod and um, pull it out later it's easier for me but if you're like macho man you know you want to go ahead and dig it out that's fine but I'm just gonna wait <laughs> but that is one bush and I'm gonna go ahead and do these all of these it's gonna take me some time so let me show you another bush here so this one uh, is growing under the oak tree and it doesn't have a lot of sun and dry. I kind of put it out kind of late in the uh, in the month. The morning, the tree is blocking it. Yeah. Um, so it's from one stalk and it gives about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So uh, seven over one, six over one. So it's still a good return. Uh, it has really a little nice bush. But I'm going to dig this up and uh, put it in a pot. 
maybe just take out I don't know maybe just 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 dig out to, to, to get the root there's a smaller uh, bush and uh, remove uh, maybe six or five and just leave one in the middle put that in the book uh, in the well I'm just gonna go ahead and keep that in the pot and see how it goes that one I just cut all the leaves and gave it away uh, to a friend for uh, some uh, lemongrass tea that's why it's it's uh, ball like that That's all the bushes except two that I am going to uh, just repot them. But this is how much lemongrass I have out of maybe, I don't know, uh, $5, $4 or five dollars worth of uh, stocks that I buy. Some of these basils um, from the store. Plus six months of investment. No, we're not selling no lemongrass to buy you some Spider-Man game. No way, I'm not buying you no Spider-Man game. I'm gonna eat these lemongrass. No. <laughs> but um, I mean, lemongrass is pretty uh, easy to grow and um, relatively cheap. But a uh, dollar, I can get a dollar for. As maybe this much for a dollar, three stocks, uh, three decent stocks, so it's about this much uh, for a dollar. And um, well, reason I'm I'm growing these because I like to to mince these and put it in my food. And uh, the store when they sell these in the frozen section, they are getting too much of these leaves and it becomes strain grainies and and um it's 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 hard to bear it's it's stringy so all i want is the sections it's about from here to here it's like six to eight inches um of the first part of it the, the thick part of it so that's the reason why i grow my own and uh, harvest and grind them up because I don't want all these leaves in the food because it can be grainy but they are good for tea though so I don't think I can use all these I'm gonna have to give them away Mommy. my neighbor likes it so I'm gonna have to call her over Mommy. and see if she wants some for some tea mm -hmm. mm. I'm gonna have to wash these first because uh, they're in a bush form and very tight and there's a lot of uh, dirt maybe not dirt so much but more like bugs and whatnot gets in here and trying to hide and I'm gonna have to peel out the outer layer and throw out a little bit so I'm gonna get this washed and clip and go in and harvest so stay tuned so I had some water over here going. I'm going to fill it up and try to rinse it off. Uh, most of the dirt out before I bring all these bugs inside. Or rather not bring any inside. So I'm going to go ahead and clean it up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and peel off. Um, kind of separate these and probably not going to eat that. You know, so... Peel off as much as I can where on the outside that looks kind of dirty and not um, kind of brown and doesn't look good. I mean, I got plenty, so rinse it off. This one is okay. Make sure I don't get any bug inside the house. Uh, this step is not necessary because um, I'm gonna leave the whole thing. So give me some some. Uh, some handle to kind of run through the machine, uh, the blender, uh, the the chopper. I have the uh, prison art uh, chopper, so grinder. So I'm gonna use that. 
and for this it's a this is a, a very thick root I'm not gonna be able to eat all that so remove some of that and I mean inside it's probably clean enough um, kind of wash it off a little bit before I bring inside the house so just that just like that just a lot to do though see some of the uh, leaf that I open it up inside here is very very dirty when the leaves are open uh, kind of like this at an angle this water gets in bug gets in the dust and everything gets in uh, versus when it's like really tight right here um, so nothing can get in it gives you another example here this one kind of a little bit open so you can see there's a lot of dust and debris and bugs kind of like to go in there and hide because it's kind of moist down here even the leaf kind of opened up a little bit like this I'll remove it but up to here is very tight so I'll keep that leaf that's just my preference um, and down here it's kind of tough to eat so I'm gonna cut that and wash it and that's that's it this has this is a really big one but I just want to show you um, it smells gorgeous the broma from the lemongrass oh I love it, it smells so good with this you can regrow um, if you want to this is all you need it's all it take and the little snub here is where the new uh, little shoot come out the little snub here to come out usually inside it forms inside the outer leaf and uh, that's the root but that little snub there is going to be a new stalk of lemongrass it grow it, it forms um, the out the inside leaf and then the inside leaves start forming forming and it push out the outside leaves and that's how it's got this many rings many of these uh, layer of leaves like this I think it's so cool it smells so good I'm only going to be using this part, but I need, I'm going to go through the chute to push it down into the chute, and so I need some handle, so the chute's about this tall. I'm going to cut the leaf to make it into tea, so it's about right here, and I'm just going to tie it into bundles.
Okay, guys, this is what I've done so far. Washed and uh, set it out for drying. I've done it three times, and this is a boatload of lemongrass. A lot of teas, a lot of uh, stalks, a lot of grind. So I'm using this Cuisinart uh, machine. It's a chopper, grinder, a mincer, but this is the blade it comes with. But it's also have this a uh, little um, slicer here. Uh, all you gotta do is insert the 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 uh, stick right here. I'm not sure what it's called. Um, so there's the arrow right there. Just line them up. Careful because the blaze in the back there is uh, very sharp. And give it a twist and you hear a click and that was uh, it. And just slide it in there. Kind of wiggle and it should uh, sit in there like that. And put the lid back on. Spread the roll. I can uh, chop these by hand, but um, it will take me probably a few weeks to go through these. So just put it in a shoot like that. See, not even two seconds. That's why I say I need that little handle or long handle to feed it through and the shoot is about um, three inches tall or so. So just get it going. And that was, this is what it looks like. Instead of me trying to cut these, it's going to take me forever. There's a lot of lovely grass. So I grow a lot, so I only get the white part and a little bit of the green part uh, to mint for marinating the food uh, to make toast food. With lemongrass, I had a, lem a, a recipe for that. Oh, so yummy. And I put lemongrass in a lot of my food, uh, especially my grilled pork. That is uh, some of those string that got stuck, you know, because that's a, a, a thick root right there, got stuck. Just be really careful, be mindful about that blade right there. I just want to show you what it looks like inside. Uh, some of these uh, long strain here, it's it's the white part, it's a thick part. I think it's okay, but you know, if you uh, want to take them out, take them out, you know, I can't really remove everything, but this looks so cool, so nice and even uh, uniform, and it looks so fresh. It smells gorgeous, I tell you. About a quarter to um, less than a quarter of an inch, just pour it out. I tell you, this is like a whole production line here. <laughs> so I remove, you know, I start to remove some of these, but later I just put the heck with it because I'm not really getting the leafy part, so it's okay. And I have a boatload of them, so it's okay to throw away, you know, a little bit. Um, if I only have a few to work with, I probably will keep them all. So next, I will switch out uh, with the display, the chopping blades, and I put in a, a couple of handfuls of chopped lemongrass, maybe three. <laughs> put the little uh, cover in and just turn it back on. This is going to be very finely minced. Uh, you can pulse these a few times, five to ten times to have a little, a little bit coarser texture. Uh, so that's about, you know, five to not even ten seconds. Imagine I have to do all this by hand. I am never going to grow lemongrass. Uh, this is what it looks like all minced up. Very even and quick. So pour it over here. 
I tell you, it's a mess. It's everywhere. So I just knock it a few times there to get all the loose pieces off. Um, you see there, there's some get stuck on the side of the bin there. It has a lot of little string, a uh, little uh, stick. You know, I don't know. It's um. Leafy, it's kind of weird looking, you know. It kind of gets stuck in the food. I like the the choppy, minty kind of looking. So I discard that. See that how grainy that is, how stringy that is. Uh, so now I say, if I have just a little bit of work with, I wouldn't throw those away. I would probably save those for something. Uh, but since I have so much uh, to work with, so I just. I can spare some throwaway, but but that's the process. I just uh, you can pull some, like I said, I was just pull a few times there, and let it kind of to the texture that that you see through the shoot, and you can see that it's a little bit coarser, and dump it all in there, and I like it. That's that's. I mean, I think it's considered quick, quicker than having to. Chop it up by hand. I would never do this if I have this much. Even though I'm doing all this, it took me probably about three hours. All in all, harvest, wash, and grind all this up. So I get about a few full, you know, scoops of lemongrass in here, and I put it in a quart size zip. Lock the freezer, uh, the bag, the freezer bag, and flatten it out. Give it a few a karate chops, and that is it right there. It's ready to go into the freezer. It's thin like this, about a quarter to half an inch thick. And when it's frozen, take uh, when I take it out, it's it's easy to just break a little piece at the corner, and it's. Easy to stand up when they're frozen. Uh, uh, my mom and I kind of like a little bit of uh, the, uh, the the slice kind, so I save a little bit just for some of the dishes that I use in. And this is the other section where uh, on the leafy side, I kind of cut it into length to this uh, gallon size bag uh, for the leaves for tea. And take all the air out to help with the freezer part. And this is the uh, the little uh, harder side, like the little um, the rest of the the stock. That is the end of the production. Everything's going to be in the freezer. Thank you guys for watching. I the, I know this is a little long, but I really hope that you enjoy this video and uh, love lemongrass. I'm coming up. Will be I will be making some lemongrass tea. Don't forget to uh, be on the lookout for that. And also, I'm going to make the lemongrass beef noodle salad. Watch out! It's coming next. Fresh lemongrass, I tell ya. All right. Have a great day, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.